Hello Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. I am Melinda Nail Fanatic. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. I am here to share with you the uh, reading. This is a spontaneous reading. I just felt inspired to do a reading that would incorporate solutions to whatever is most weighing on your mind right now. There's something that you've been wanting solutions to. And so let's see if what messages the universe has for you. I'm just going to shuffle and I want to thank you right now in advance again for watching. I'm so glad you decided to watch. Um, also let you know that I have my child running around here and um, she's very, very talkative, but it's okay. We can still do the reading and so just be aware of that and thank you in advance for any donations, for any requests, for all your likes, shares, and subscribes, I am on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, Google, and obviously YouTube. Um, Melinda Nail Fanatic. And this is the reading for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, my earth signs. And we will like three cards that are solution oriented for whatever is on the mind of my earth signs at this time. And whether they're watching this now or way long after it's been uploaded for a long time, let the information be pertinent when they find it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love source God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For accuracy, clarity. Cut these and then we'll pull our three. So, okay. Lay these down. All right. So, what are you bound to? Are you um, attached to something that is difficult to you? Is there something irritating you? Is there some discomfort right now because of something that you're feeling compelled to stay bound to or to do? Um, are you feeling chained to something? Do you realize that you're able to remove yourself from the situation? It just takes you using the key, which is always there, which is your decision. Your decision is the key to your action. Because once you've decided something, the whole universe conspires to help it happen. So it could even be as simple as um, trying to quit smoking cigarettes, you know? That's something simple that feels irritating when you want to stop and uncomfortable when you want to stop. And you feel compelled to do it. It could be that person that you always seem to want to deal with who is a difficulty it could be um, feeling like you have to do what you're doing as opposed to want to do what you're doing um, I feel like you will free yourself from that because the card that comes in next is temperance and so this person is mixing back and forth from one cup to the other so this is a card that is dealing with um, balancing out regarding emotions and self-love and taking back control of your own life and then the next card you had was the eight of wands and so I really feel like this is coming in quickly like uh, I feel like you're breaking free from whatever you felt bound to and you're doing it because you're putting yourself first and you're having the assistance from the spiritual forces of the universe and you're following your inter internal guidance system you're in emotion but you're not allowing the emotion to overwhelm you you're staying calm and peaceful and um you're staying focused on the goal that's at the end and so with that 
swift change is coming in, swift action. Some new things are coming in for you. I mean, you you may have been feeling like things were so difficult, and um, it's looking like by opening up to care for yourself and make sure that you're doing for yourself what you need to do and following that internal guidance system. So that's causing this major effect, which is this change is coming in. Um, it's coming in quickly and it's going to allow for alignment. It's, uh, it's going to allow for you to, the, the emotional concern, care, and nurturing for yourself that you're doing with the universal support is going to help you line up with different things that you had planned for yourself. And so I feel like if you've been feeling chained to poverty or lack or going without, I feel like that is going to change and, and things will open up for you. If you've been struggling with some sort of addiction and trying to let that go, whether it's to another human being or to some other physical thing or whatever it is, I feel like you will do the work and realize that it's from in your mind and, and you'll gain mastery over whatever that is that you're feeling bound to so that you can quickly let go of that and that, that change is coming in soon. I also get the feeling like somebody's throwing away their pack of cigarettes. I just got that. So that that is for somebody specific. Good job. Very good job. Throwing away them cigarettes. I see the cigarettes going flying. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> like they might go out the window. <laughs> um, and if you choose to stay in a situation that that uh, that is compelling, that is somewhat irritating and sometimes discomfort, discomforting, understand that you're there by choice. It isn't controlling you. You choose to incorporate into your life and make it the big part of your life that it has become. And as soon as you choose that you don't want it, you can consciously release yourself from it. So, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in with me. Love, peace, and happiness to you and yours, and of course me and mine. Until next time.